we're playing a, a Texas Stories 4 Jordan. Oh, created by Wirt Andrew, the same guy who created the map for the, the Mario thing. But I haven't played any of these in this part 4, so it says... If you want a tour of what has happened previously in the story, look behind you. It is recommended to go to the tour before starting. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, previously on the Texas Stories, you are a Lieutenant Jordan Justice. Oh, I'm Lieutenant Jordan Justice. Located in Richmond District, San Francisco. Okay. Isabel Russell was abducted by a suspect code named Mr. Twist. Jordan managed to track the victim down to an abandoned warehouse. Okay. After saving her, Jordan received a letter from Mr. Twist announcing the beginning of his game. He also told Jordan that every victim's name will reveal his true identity. His distinctive symbol is Red Skull that he's phrased in every crime scene. Okay, here it is. Isabel then received a large payment to disappear again. A receipt of 5k was found in her apartment. She was never seen again. After that, another disappearance happened. This time, the victim's name was Anna Redhouse, a civil engineer living in Richmond. It was later found that Anna was an accomplice to Mr. Twist and planned this both disappearance together with him. Okay. Turns out Anna had a brother, Lan. When they were young, they lost their parents in a mugging that happened in Cinema Majestic. Jordan's father, also a cop, didn't manage to stop the mugger in time. For that reason, they wanted revenge. Oh, okay. I see, I see the plot adding up. After escaping the wooden trap house, Jordan found information that led to the arrest of Anna. Mr. Twist was still at large. Hours later, High Stakes Bank was robbed by four individuals. Turns out they were part of a Fenton gang. The symbol is Red Dragon Badge. The robber stole the deposit box that contained Land Red House, Mr. Twist, Dodging Papers. Nothing else was missing from the bank, even though vaults, the vault what? Was open with explosives. Right after the robbery, the Fentons planted a bomb at the police department to set Anna free. She was hurt in the process. Oh shit, they blew her ass up. Mr. Twist was angry because of that tra and trapped Norton, Fenton's gang leader, into a coffin at the docks. After tracking down Mr. Twist's headquarters, Jordan discovered that Mr. Twist was also the suspect in another case, codenamed The Retaliator. Two police officers, Braxton Houston and Roger Matthews, disappeared after tracking down the suspect that was three months ago. Ian Redhouse became his name when he was adopted at an early age. His previous name, though, was Brian Maverick. Venturing in Mr. Twist's headquarters, it was revealed that Mr. Twist was responsible for all five victims' disappearances, spelling his real name, Brian. Brian Maverick, aka Mr. Twist, challenged Jordan to one last game. The suspect agreed to be captured if Jordan beat his final game. Jordan agreed. Welcome to the Sex of Stories for Jordan. Alright, well, uh, now I guess we can start the game. Before we start it, if you aren't subscribed, go hit the subscribe button down below. Also, turn on the bell so you can know if I want to post a new video. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And if you have any Fortnite maps you want me to play, just leave a comment down below. Alright, man, let's get into this. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So that didn't go away, but we already read that. We know what's about to happen. Richmond District, San Francisco. February 16, 1998, another cold Monday. I just completed the final game. Time to end this. 32, 18th Ave. You won. Time for your prize, Jordan. Let's see if you can keep your word. Okay. Yo, what the? F the one, 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 the one. I should be careful. This room has exits. No exits. Seems like a trap. The TV seems to be operational. I think I could open it. I am sorry to do this, but we all pay for other people's mistakes. Goodbye, Jordan. You will always be the one for me. It's kind of like. The, uh, huh? What? Oh no, bro. Can I climb this? I knew it. Damn, you rigging this. Damn, you friggin' this. I have to think fast. Bro, I'm not even ready to think. Oh. Uh, bro, I don't know what to do. Can I destroy the rug? Bro, I can't climb. Wait, as well, I ain't. That's savage. Bro, that's what I was thinking, but yeah, yeah. Am I just supposed to wait? For another text to pop up the TV on. What just happened? Uh, I don't know if it's glitched or not, so I'm gonna restart it real quick. Wait, I, I didn't even see this. You have one life to complete the entire scenario. Choices do not matter, only you do. Here we go again. I'm pretty sure. I mean, there's we can't climb nothing. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to like 
I don't know, break this or somehow it's gonna be broken because there's nothing else. I can't climb the rope. There's nowhere else to climb and when back there it just leads to the starting point. Knew it, bro. Don't, like, why would there be a rug in the middle? You know, like, come on now. Come on. I'm too smart. 30 minutes later. Earlier, I mean. This is it. One final game with suspect Brian Maverick, aka Mr. Twist. I have nothing to lose, yet I am betting everything on this. Welcome. Chill. Let me read. Welcome, Jordan, to our final game. Let me explain the rules. Beat all three of my challenges and you win. Simple as that. I'll play your twist little game, but you better stick to your word because I brought my handcuffs with me. Hey. What'd he say? Beat three challenges. Okay, 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 okay. Brian loves to use those. Seems like some sort of mechanism for opening the door remotely. Okay, I thought it was haunted. Brian makes the best choices on venues. We got the skull right here. Oh, we can get rid of it. Oh, we have to find. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Looks like movement sensors, but what for? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Hidden. Oh, but there's nothing in here, or is there? Okay, we gotta remember this part. Oh, here it is. Found it. Nice, bro. Nice. All right, now we can climb on top of this. How are you going to spend your last Monday? Seize the day. I think the entire building could use some sort of cleaning material. That's locked. That was a little warm up. Let's start with that. Was not even challenge one? I thought that was challenge number one. What you see is not the key. Hmm. Does that light, like flickering, have to do with any of this? Wait, wait, wait. I think. Hold up. Okay, I, I stepped on this and the door opened. I go to the sensors and it closes. If I press on this, it opens. Okay, what if. Yeah. Open. Let's wait for that to. Damn it. Open and let's wait for this to go off. Okay. Is it still open? It's still open. Okay, I think we gotta wait for it to go off and then we don't, the motion sensors don't detect this. Wow, okay, I'm smart, bro. This wall was built recently. I suppose is Brian cutting out possible exits. Okay. My God, smell, you'll get gang. And what is that? Just by touching these. And all right, let's go up. See what we got over here now. Good job, Lieutenant. Now I'm in good fashion. Every time you solve a challenge, I will reveal a little clue by myself. Remember the tape with the car crash? I was in it. Hooray. Hooray. You must be referred to that tape from Anna's case where a car accident was shown. Almost forgot about that. Never really said its meaning. There must be a reason why he brought this up twice. What happened in the car accident? I do not know. I am not the right person to ask. Same military markings like the ones I found in Sunshine Consulting LLC. Right. Time for challenge two. When light and water combines, the path to Jordan shines. Alright, let's get to work. Oh, it's locked. Okay. Is there another pad or shine this thing, bro? Oh wait, what is that? Hit 20 times above the lock door. Right here? Okay. 19, 20. Wow. Okay, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, I guess we're supposed to go down here. Nice job. Tip number two. All clues that you in this place, that led you in this place, were planted. Not left accidentally. Accident. I can't. Accidentally. Even Norton's mistake was made up. Hmm. I should have been more careful after what Mr. Twist pulled with Isabel. He fooled us again to get me here, I suppose. But what about that bomb? Was that really a distraction? And the fences that they plant fake evidence in the wharf and audience auction house, this still doesn't make sense. Alright, so what now? Oh. Why tell me that all the evidence was made up though? He keeps throwing aces out of his hand. Locked. Locked. 
We got A door, B door, C door, D door. Last challenge. Your time is nigh. What's nigh? Speed is your ally. Tick tock. As long as there are no bombs involved, I am confident I can solve this. When time is nigh, speed is your ally. Speed, 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 speed. Okay, I just pressed little... Oh. What? Why is it not opening? Press that one, right? I pressed that one, right? Like you got that one, right? I'm spamming, I'm spamming, I'm spamming. Please make it, make it. God, finally, last clue for today. I have never been involved with anything up to this point. I am a truly innocent, man. That's what they all say when I arrest them. Feeling the burn, Brian? Win the game? I don't think. I don't think it's that easy. My nostrils can't take any more of this place. I need to get out fast. Win the game? Run, 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 run. It's gonna close. Oh, it didn't close. You want time for your prize, Jordan. Let's see if you can keep your word. What? What 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 just happened? Bro, I just got finesse. What do I gotta do this thing again? Oh bro, this takes so long. Yeah, it's definitely getting small. What happened? The power cut off. I hope so. Oh, Commissioner, thank God he is here. Get to the medical team. Jordan, thank God you're all right. We all fear the worst after we couldn't contact you. Harrison, how'd you find me? You told me the address before you left, so it wasn't hard. <laughs> how'd you find me? My man, you told them the address. Like, what? I have to apologize for my belt. Save it for later. I have the suspect real name now. We can finally track him down. Let me hop in the whip. Oh. Oh. All right, lead the way, Lieutenant Jordan. Okay, all right, listen up, everyone. The suspect's name is Brian Maverick. I want him, I want home address, work where he is and has been. Inform all San Francisco stations and report to me once you find something. Time is crucial. So let's get going. Game over, find Mr. Twist. You are not getting away, you scum. This has just become personal. No one has ever insulted me this much for my entire life. I am coming for you, Brian. I rush into the police station to get a note and begin the investigation. The entire Richmond police is now on standby. Time to go hunt for Mr. Twist. Jordan's office one hour later. Brian Maverick, last seen leaving his work to go to his apartment. Previous employment, working in an art gallery in No Valley. Status married to Jane Doe. Ex U.S. Air Force officer, home address 665, Montgomery Street, apartment 2304. His age is 38. He was born in Excelsior. San Francisco in May 14, 1960. There is no criminal record for Brian Maverick. He has a major fine arts, graduated from University of San Francisco with second class honors. On April 11, 1983, he donated is that $15,000 $15, to a charity that helps children in Zaire. Occupation, event manager, working on the cruise ships. His current contract started three months ago on MV Millenaria ship name. Uh, bro, that was a lot of reading. And the investigation. Uh, think so all right time to go i have a few options based on the information which is going to be where should i investigate next damn i forgot what each one was okay that's his work that's his address i forgot what that was all right so we got two addresses so i feel like it's going to be this one because we, why would you have two addresses? You know, I feel like that that's the odd one out. We're going to go with Safe Trip Cruise Lines, his work. We contacted Safe Trip Cruise Lines Human Resources to ask about Brian Maverick. We confirmed that he has pending contract in Cruise Vessel Milena. Safe, time, Safe Trip Cruises informed us that the ship is in port and currently undergoing annual survey. I rushed to the commission to issue warrant and we drove to James R. Herman Cruise Terminal where the vessel was located. 21 men, 6 cars, 1 helicopter. This time I wasn't playing. This time I had backup, backup. Okay. We went to the event manager office inside the cruise ship, but instead of finding Brian, 
we found something else. It was at this point that the real story would start to unravel. The story that held the real motive of Mr. Twist. The story of the largest money heist in Richmond history. Uh, a, what? A money heist? This entire office smells like paper. Various protective equipment seems to have been used a handful of times. And investigation? We arrested three individuals from the office. Two were working on the counting and one was responsible for the operation. The lead suspect's name Gary Keller. After interrogating Gary Keller about Brian Maverick, he confessed Brian was the lead that he can be found in 665 and Montgomery Street. Street. Interrogated the characteristics, calm voice, calm manner, direct eye contact at all time, answered fast when the question he didn't have to take. He's lying, bro. Oh, he's, he's, he's lying, right? Like, Okay, let me let me think this through. Calm voice and the calm manner, the eye contact, all point that he's telling the truth, but the fast, I don't know, bro. He could have just pulled a 6 9 and just snitched them out for, for less time, you know what I'm saying? He could have just pulled a 6 9 so calm voice, calm manner, direct eye contact, all three things say the truth, and there's one thing that says lying. So, 3 to 1, I'm going to go with he's telling the truth. We followed Gary Keller's instructions. We drove to the financial district. But Ryan Maverick has, lives on the 23rd floor of 665 Montgomery Street. If someone caught up while driving there. We had we heard the bad news. Montgomery Street. A large explosion obliterated his apartment. Faked his death. Can we go in here? We sent forensics at the apartment and we went back to interrogate Gary Keller. Was this a cover up or a trap that went wrong? We asked Gary Keller again, but this time we saw another face. The face of a man keeping secrets from us. Gary Keller is hiding the truth. He is unlike any criminal we have arrested in the, this case. He is calm. He knows we have nothing. We pushed him hard to call his lies. We were pretending that he cracked this already, but no, he saw through us. Once he figured what he knew about the penthouse, he stopped talking. We didn't get a word out of his mouth. What was he hiding? It was in the moment we started going back. All the, all the evidence we had had so far, everything, something he had to tell us where Mr. Twist was, is. A neighbor reported that Brian hasn't been home for over a month. And then it hit me. His last trap was unbeatable. Therefore, he confessed to, to me right before it. All I had to do was recollect his words. The last clue that Mr. Twist gave me, the car crash, he told me something that he wouldn't expect me to investigate. We started searching every hospital in San Francisco until we found him. UCF Medical Center. There where he was, Brian Maverick at last. His eyes were closed. There was silence in the room. I stood there looking. I didn't know how to feel. My body was confused. Mr. Twist in the flesh. Now all we have to do is wait for him to wake up. As promised, Lieutenant, it was an honor. The paint is fresh. He wrote it and went to sleep. Also known as Otis. So has Britain... It has to be written recently. Okay. An investigation. Couldn't believe my eyes. It was so abrupt. But we finally got him. Even at the end, we did exactly what he wanted. I double checked, triple checked. It was him. My mind didn't think he was Mr. Twist. There has to be a catch. I was waiting, walking to the room left and right. Is that really him or did I miss something? Think, Jordan, think. Is the man lying in the bed with one behind everything? Okay. Yes. His office was turned to a fencing operation. No one would just agree to that if they weren't involved. Forensics provided us with fingerprints from his hand and his ID. They were matched. The person lying in the bed was indeed Brian Maverick. All the written instructions and hints led to the hospital. According to his rules, I won the game. Was Kerry Keller really telling the truth? But again, how many times he was he was a step ahead? Every time I thought of something, it was always the other way around. Am I missing something? What if the real Mr. Twist is using the ID of this man as a scapegoat? If he is here, how did he plant the bomb in his apartment? Was what was his timing? Anna was at his headquarters. Did Gary do it? Mr. Twist is a nickname. Cannot be tied to anyone. Anyone could be Mr. Twist. The question is that person, Brian Maverick. Damn, bro, I'm really becoming a detective. Okay, okay, okay. Let's think this out. If I was this guy, I would most definitely be using another person as an identity. You know, I don't think he literally, bro. I would not let you just win the game. Like, <laughs> no. No, 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 no. I don't think it's it's him. As I was thinking about it, we inquired the nurse about the real about the reason Brian was at the hospital. His lips were moving, but the answer shocked me so much that I've lost track of the surroundings. My hearing stopped. It felt like I was falling into a pit of abyss. Brian Maverick had suffered brain injury in a car accident a month ago. 
He is in a coma ever since. Thoughts started babbing and stabbing in my <laughs> did I say babbing? Stabbing my brain with scenarios. Brian Maverick had the perfect motive. Was tied to everything and yet he had no opportunity. What was the what about the abduction papers though? Who would this I forgot all about the abduction things. Who would this who would do this and not Mr. Twist himself? Gary Keller told us his name, which means he is he was lying again. Is he Mr. Twist? Mr. Twist's great card was reported stolen, so there was no owner. Can't tie it to anyone. He had the perfect motive. He isn't land red house and his revenge on me would be his redemption. His office was used to while he was at coma. Was this was that deliberate? Did someone cause harm to Brian? He had the means. He was wealthy. He liked hosting events, challenges, games. That was his job. Is Anna and Gary planning this because they feel sorry for Brian? Why commit crimes though? He mentioned a car crash in Anna's case. He told us today he was in the car crash. How would anyone else know that information? The real corporate has been fooling us all along, creating a fake narrative from the beginning. I knew this couldn't have been so easy. The money we found in Envy Molina was the only clue that breaks the narrative. Mr. Twist never cared for money. There was no point in thinking about this. I needed evidence. I rushed back to the office. I needed to take a fresh look at all the clues so far. Jordan's office one hour later. Case files. Sergeant Barry, the other driver that collided with Brian Maverick was Jerry Andrew, a fake ID used by Jermaine Gardner. CIA contact Gary Keller and Laurel Hunt are both agents of an organization called the Headless Serpent. So Jane Doe, supposedly Brian Maverick's wife, was Laurel Hunt using a fake name. Sergeant Barry Maverick's irony doesn't match the tags of Mr. Twist. Lieutenant Royden, the money found in MV Molino is actually the money from his from high stakes bank. They swapped the bank cash with fake money. Bank confirmed. Gary Keller is a fake ID. He uses fake names. So police can't track him down. Forensics fingerprints found in Brian's apartment belong to Brian Maverick and Laura Hunt. Laura Hunt is number 12 on CIA's most wanted list. Gary Keller's real identity is Jermaine Gardner based on face ID match. Jermaine Gardner and investigation. All right, time to go. I have a few options based on the information, which is going to be. Who should I pursue next? Laura Hunt? Jermaine Gardner. I don't think he'd expect us to go for if like if we did figure it out i don't think he'd expect us to go for for her i think he just expect us to go straight for him so he might be expecting that so i'm gonna go with the girl jermaine is already in custody after we arrested him in lv melina he is not going anywhere laura under the hand wait what do you mean he's already she is out there i don't know the full truth brian maverick was an escape from mr twist Mr. Twist was a skateboard for Headless Serpent's agent agenda. They created a narrative to justify and hide all the crimes. They even went as far as to create a fake evidence so we could arrest Brian Maverick. The poor soul did nothing to deserve this. I wonder if Anna knows or if they lied to her to create a fake sense of revenge that fits their goals. At least now I feel like I am one step ahead for the first time in this case. Time to hunt down Laurel. Our commission is currently having talks with the CIA so we can get more information. He told me that they won't share anything more than the public knowledge. We need to investigate without their help. We started tracking down on all the names that had the serpent used to buy assets used in the case so far. We ended up with more fake names that led nowhere. My job was to investigate the golf cart that was used in Sunshine Consulting LLC warehouse. I was sent to find the name of the buyer. The shop was close to Port of Los San Francisco, a place called Tellum. Instructions for continuing. Write down this code. Seven. Go back to the hub. Go to a future port and hold in. Wait, what? Oh, okay. So this was just like part one, I guess. Bro, we've been playing this for 42 minutes. That's crazy. All right. But uh, yeah, this has been long enough. I'm going to split the rest of... Well, yeah, I'm going to just split it. So this is going to be the end of this one. We're going to finish it in part two. So if you want to stay tuned for that. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell so you get notified when I post a new upload. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And if you have any other Fortnite maps you want me to play, just leave a comment down below. But alright, that's gonna do it for this one, man. This got me intrigued. Like I wanna know what happens. And this map really got me thinking. This is the first time I played a map like this, and it's, it's pretty dope, man. I'll probably I'll probably play some more detective type maps. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.